Don't do this at home. Okay, Ryan, explain yourself. Well, there's no uh, top part of the intake on it because this HEI distributor wouldn't fit because it's technically supposed to be, you. this is an EFI intake. Whereas with this type of distributor, you're supposed to use carburetor. However, I just want to test run this engine. I want to make sure it actually runs before it goes in my truck. So um, it's just going to get a little bit of ether down each in intake pour and send it. Here we got an L35. This was Ryan's first engine. Didn't work, or at least it did for under 90,000 miles, but uh, went bad for reasons that will be explained later. This is the second engine, although he wasn't bothered to pop the hood. It's the same as the first one, only has 150,000 miles on it, and it started knocking too. So he's gonna replace it, but instead of just sticking a third engine of the same kind that's just gonna fail again, he's gonna put a V8. This is the third engine, and the first 350 that he was going to work on. And this was supposed to go in his truck, but while he was rebuilding it, he discovered that the cylinder walls are so horrible that he would just need to get another one. So parts of this are going to end up in the actual 350 that's going in, but this block is just sitting here in the bushes. Which brings us to the fourth engine, the second 350, which is comprised of the second 350 and parts of the first 350. Okay, so the problem with the L35s and just the... Uh... Vortec 4.3s in general is what GM did is uh, when they when they redesigned those motors to have a balance shaft they changed the size of the pickup tube and those engines already took a long second to get oil to the front two rod bearings so when they changed the size of the pickup tube it took even longer for those rod bearings to get oil which over time will cause them to wear out and start knocking so that happened in both of your first two engines? Yep, both motors started doing it. So screw it, we're putting the 350 in there. Yep. What follows is a brief distributor adjustment montage. Oh, don't forget we got the 1996 half-discharged ABC fire extinguisher. About a half hour later, come back to see what he's doing. Two days later. We hope you enjoyed this brief distributor adjustment montage.